Hi again, Dave Coyle here with another Credit Minute. In this series, we are talking about why your score is what it is. Knowing what goes into your credit score can help you take the right steps to make sure your score is as high as possible, so when you're ready to buy, you can take advantage of the lowest interest rates possible. Let's hop right in. With 30% of your score coming from the amount of debt you owe at any given time, you can tell that the credit bureaus really place a huge value on how much you are racking up debt. This is, taking, this is talking about credit cards, home equity lines of credit, or HELOCs, or any other revolving account where the amount you pay each month is not fixed. With installment loans like car payments and student loans where you pay the same amount each month, this really doesn't apply. So for those, it's just about making sure you pay your bills on time every month. When I'm helping clients raise their score quickly, the first and biggest thing I recommend is to pay down credit card balances. Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax are most concerned with how high your balances are compared to the amount of available credit you have. So you should try to never spend more than 25% of their available limit. This is even true if you pay your card off each month, so if you regularly spend more than 25% of your max, you should call your credit card company and explaining that you want to keep your score as high as possible, ask them to raise your limit to the point that the amount you regularly spent at most during the last 6 to 12 months, when you look at your statements, is at most 25% of your available limit. This trick can be helpful for clients who find themselves getting trapped by their debt as well, because sometimes those clients don't have the extra money to throw at paying down their debts. This gives them another option for getting their balance percentages down so that their scores can move up without spending more money. If you're really trying to move your credit score higher quickly, like right before you buy a house or a car and you have the money to do it, I would recommend paying down your revolving balances to $5 actually and keeping them there until after you buy. This is better than paying them off entirely because the creditor has a chance to make some money on you in interest and your credit scores are for your creditors, not for you. Just remember, keep your balances low and your score will go high. If you have any questions on any of this or would just like to discuss your situation with me, give me a call. My number is 720-466-3559. I look forward to helping you. This has been your Credit Minute with Dave Coyle. And remember, people call me when they just want to go home.